everybody and welcome back to day number two of my fabulous woman women um free online class i am candace fields i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator and today we are working with wonderful moments and beautiful you and there's another stamp set that I am incorporating into this. And that is Happy Birthday Gorgeous. Okay, so we're using all three of these in our class today. So if you watched yesterday's video, we made this um, birthday card featuring just the wonderful moment stamp set here and then i also use the tuffeted embossing folder which is amazing okay and so for today's class we are making i'm not sure if it's a double easel or a double z fold i'm not sure what to call this but I saw another demonstrator um, do this. and But the difference with mine is there is a gift card holder attached. So here's the card. And when your person opens it, there's a pocket for a gift card. And then you can pull it out. Okay. I'm not sure we're going to need this, so let me pull this out. Now, on this one, I had some paper layered back in there. You don't have to use this, and in this version, we're not going to because the pocket here was wide enough, and it covered most of the paper, so the paper just didn't make sense. Okay? So please note that I have an, on, an online classroom that, that is going to house the um, written tutorial where you can see the supply list and the measurements you need to create these cards that, um, that we are showcasing. Okay. So for our card, uh, card base, I took a mental blank. You're going to start off with a piece of Mango Melody cut out at 4 and a quarter by 11, which is our standard A2 size card base. Okay. And we're going to score this at 5 and a half. this off to the side and then you're gonna have another piece of mango melody okay and we are going to score this one at this piece is four by five and a quarter I'm trying to make sure I have my measurements correct. Here's my notebook. Okay. Let me pull this up really quickly. Okay, I was right. I didn't want to accidentally score on the wrong mark. We're going to score this at two and a half. And five. Okay. And then when you do this, you're going to fold up. I hope I didn't do this wrong again. 
Let's see. Okay, and I did. I messed up. I didn't realize that my paper moved. I said between these two videos, y'all just show y'all just seeing all of my mistakes. That is okay. Pull this out. I want this to be at ten and a quarter. Because I did the same thing when I was making my sample. I scored at the wrong spot. So, we're scoring at five. And two and a half. Okay, maybe I was right. Something just seems really off. Okay, I was right. It wasn't me. So then you're just going to do the Mountain Valley fold, um, score. And then this is what you're going to end up with. Okay, so now with a piece of Whisper White, we are going to stamp our image and our sentiment. So the image is coming from Beautiful You, and we're using this lovely lady here. And you're going, to, I'm using the um, Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay, and I'm sorry if you guys see me. Here. But I just want to make sure I have enough pressure here. Boom. And she looks amazing. Okay. And so now we're going to get out our chamois. her off some and then from that image set they have this dress piece here that you can fill in and actually I'm trying to think really quickly because when I first designed my first card the first card um, had a little bit of a different um, some different colors in there. Okay, so I think I'm going to jazz this one up and instead of using soft sea foam like I did in the last one, let's see what we're going to use. We are going to use Pacific Point. And I'm glad I went back and looked. Now this is one ink color I think I have not really given much love to. 
Okay. Okay. And it is okay if it's a little off. I think this one is actually a little bit more centered than my last one. But it's okay if it's a little off because it's not designed to be perfect. Okay, and then we're going to color in our hat. And I think we're going to go ahead and use uh, mango, uh, melon, ma uh, melon mambo. Yeah, with the other paper that I used, I had a little bit more room to add in some soft softness to the image. But with this one, I don't really have that room. Okay? So this one has to be bold and bright and fierce. Alrighty, so let's clean off our stamp because I think I'm going to need this again. Sentiment fashionably late. Hope it was great. But I don't know about you. I'm always forgetting people's birthdays. Or it's not that I necessarily forget the birthday. I forget to create something for their birthday. And I really hope that this is going to work because I have a feeling that I screwed up again. And Hope it was great. Clean this off. One of these days, I'm actually going to buy some more blocks. So I think that's what I need in my life is more blocks. Okay, so now we're going to bring out our layering squares. didn't mess this up. Because I was going to cry if I did. Okay. I'm just going to line this up. And I'm just bringing this in at a little bit of a tilt just because of the speed bump in there. Okay. 
Okay. And then, oops. And I think that is all of the die cutting. So we can put this away. Okay. So now we can start building up our card. And so first things first, I'm going to adhere my image piece. And then I am using the, um, I don't even know what this paper is called. <laughs> Let's see, Garden Impressions 6x6 six six paper pad. And so now what we're going to do is get ready to do our pocket. And so for this piece, you're going to need a 5 by 2 and 3 fourths inch piece of designer series paper. Okay. And then you're going to score this at a half inch on a long end and then four and a half and then you're going to turn it over and you're going to score at a half inch okay so now what you're going to do is we're going to cut out these um, boxes but I'm just going to do it at a little bit of an angle here. Okay. And then I like to um, snip off. that side too and then using the one and a quarter inch punch and I want to pray that this is even you're just going to take out just a little piece so that 
your recipient can take out their gift card. And so the way that I designed this is that I wanted it tight enough, loose enough that you can um, get it in and out, but tight enough that when the person opens up the card, the gift card won't come flying out. 